Let's see how to create arrays in Java in three different ways. This is my class uh, class demo, and this is just my main method. So this is array example one. I'm creating all the arrays in uh, string uh, to store the string values. So string uh, data type, and then square bracket, then array name cars one. So this is example one. Here I am storing three cars, their names. So one way is using curly brace and then put your values inside and separate them by a comma. And at the end, you must have semicolon. So in a simple nutshell, data type, square bracket, name of array, and then curly brace. Inside that, put values separated by a comma, okay? All right, same thing, string in a different way. Here, we are not putting values at the same time. Here, we are just having string, uh, parenthesis, uh, square bracket, then uh, name of array, new string three. Three is what I want to store three values. If I want to store 100 values, I will put 100 values. Right now, I want to store three values just to be consistent with this one. Now we have declared the array and its size. Here we did not declare any size. When you don't assign value, you have to assign the size. Now I'm assigning value because in array, first value is at zero location. So same thing is happening here. On zero location, I'm inserting Volvo. One is BMW and on location two, is Toyota. So we have three locations starting from zero and last one is two. So remember always starting from zero. Example three is it's similar to the first one. Okay, here it is like that. Here I'm assigning values there, but actually if we see this is a mix of these first one and second one uh, to be precise. So first, declare this assign name and then new string new string notice here i am not putting three now it will automatically uh, get the well the to the size the total size from here if i put five values here for example if i add another value t for example this is a car for example okay there is no such car though i think so this is the fourth value so automatically it will know that this array car three it has four values okay so i don't need to put here four no need so coming back just to make it consistent so all arrays example one has three values this one here we have three values and in this case i have three values now i want to read them i want to see cars one and its values so for loop cars one dot length dot length will know how many values are there right now length there are three values so it will go to until zero one and two and remain less than three because less than three because we will go zero one two all right save it run it and these are the values for array one. Now I want to see array two values. And here I just need to change here that, okay, now see array two and cars two, okay. All right, actually values are same. So car three, what is the length and their values? All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much.